Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Software Testing by MKT. As a part of this video, I'm going to explain you data provider annotation in the test ng. Data provider annotation test ng is one of the concept using which you can run the same test cases with different set of data, right? Example, you want to do the addition, but first you want to do the addition with, let's say 16. Then you want to do addition with number 40. Then you want to do addition with number 43. Then you want to do addition with number 96, right? What if, if you want to do the same activity, but with different values, do we have to write separate test cases for it? The answer is no. I'm giving you another example. So as you know, we do the login with not just with single username and password, but we also do the login activity with multiple users name and multiple password for such concepts we have this concept called as data provider annotation in the test ng right before it's late let's get started all i have to do is i need to create a new class so i'm creating a class so let me give the class name as data provider program once after giving the class name as data provider program you have to now create a data provider so for that you need to create a new annotation called as data provider the data provider data p should be capital data provider now this data provider will have certain name let's say name is equals to your data one the name can be anything okay now annotation is fine now you have to give the method name so you can write public always remember one thing for the data provider the return type is an object class so you need to write an object class and then you can write the method name as anything something like method one that doesn't matter your method name can be anything now just because your annotation is data provider you definitely have to import it so try hovering over data provider it will give you the import option coming from the test ng annotation now just because you have given here the return type as object definitely you need to return here something what you have to return you need to return the object of the object class i hope you all know that object class is one of the root class that we have in java so what i have done i have created an object of the most parent class in java called as object class right so class object is the root class of the entire classes we have in java so i have created an object of the object class so guys this is of two dimensional this is why we need to create a two dimensional so your data provider annotation is now ready now you want to test with how many data that you can write here example i want to test my test case with the first data and let's say the data is my first input is let's say can be anything let's say ram let's say my second input is let's say lakshman let's say my next input is let's say shiva okay let's say these are my three inputs now who is ram lakshman and shiva they are my students take example okay Ram is my first student, Lakshman is my second student, Shiva is my third student. Take it as an example. Now what I need to do, I need to now create a test case. So you need to create a test case with at the rate of test and write the test case with a method. So you know that every at the rate of test will have the method written. So public void, let's say this is your test case one. And now you need to definitely import this at the rate of test and now you need to give here a parameter the parameter should be data provider in the test ng whenever you give the parameter right it should always be like camel case that means the first letter should always be lower and the first letter of the second word should always be capital so now it is asking which data i am going to utilize so you have to say that i am going to utilize the data one okay so as you can see here i have a single single values right ram lakshman and shiva that's why I have to even make it as a parameterized string name. I can also write here student's name. That's all. Now, how many test cases I have here? I have only single test case. But how many times this test case will run? Three times. First test case will run with input called Ram. Second test case will run with the input called Lakshman. And the third test case will run with the input called Shiva. I'm going to run this test case. You can have a look after running it. You can see total test cases that I have is equals to three. Now, can I generate a report of it? The answer is yes, you can generate a report, right? So you can see here, my parameter one is Ram. My first input is Ram. My second input is Shiva. My third input is Lakshman. 
that means i have tested my test case one only three times with a different different set of values okay now if you want to know can i perform any kind of activity or can i perform any kind of function with ram lakshmi and shiva the answer is yes you can do that so suppose i want to perform some string function with ram lakshmi and shiva so i can do student name dot i can perform any string function I want to do concatenation. Let's take example. So let's say this is what I want to do. Take example. So this test case will run first with let's say Ram. So student's name first will be Ram. Now what actually I'm doing? Ram concat. Concat means combining. Ram is a good boy. My second input will be Lakshman. Lakshman is a good boy. My third input will be Shiva is a good boy. So I'm going to run this. You can see the test case execution. Total test cases are three are passed. I'm again going to click on the emailable report. And now you can see all three are again the output, right? See, whatever you're printing now here will be available in your console output. If you want to print this in your emailable report also, then you have to use reporter.log, okay? If you don't know, make a note of it. So it is, this is called as, if you want to print something in your emailable report also, you can make use of the reporter.log. What you want to print inside your emailable report? You want to print the output. So you can make use of student name dot concat. What you wanted to do? You wanted to do is a good boy. So you can write it and you can delete the system dot Now, whatever you write inside the reporter.log will be getting printed in your emailable report. Okay. Now reporter is one of the class that we have which comes from the test ng package please remember this so now i'm going to run this after running you can see your console output so in console output you can see total three test cases executed all of them are pass 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 the reason they are passed because there is no exception and also because i'm not using any kind of assertion here right what is assertion if you don't know i'll be uploading a separate video on it so don't worry please now i can click on the emailable report now you can see my first input is shiva and what is the answer shiva is a good boy my second input is lakshman and what is answer lakshman is a good boy my third input is ram and what is answer ram is a good boy right so guys this is the example of the data provider concept again explaining you data provider annotation is one of the annotations that we have in the test ng using which you can run the same test cases multiple times if this input is 100 inputs are there. I can test this particular test with 100 inputs, right? You may ask me that Manish, you have data one now. Similarly, can you create data two also? Answer is yes, you can do that, okay? But make sure that data one is now changed to something else, okay? And as you know that in Java, method name will never be same. In case it is same, you have to make it as a parameterized, okay? So there is no need to make it as a parameterized, but at least make sure that the method name is different. So I have done that, okay? Now I'm going to enter my values as 60, my second value as 90, and my third value as maybe 109, okay? See, here my value was in the form of string. Here my value is in the form of int, okay? If my data provider is having the value as int, then my test case should not have here string. It should have here int, okay? And variable name is also can be changed. So you can write here A. Okay. Now what you want to do with those A, you can you can do here if you want. Something like I want to do the addition. So just do sum is equals to A plus 100. And you want to print the sum. See, it is giving me the compile time error because uh, I have written now that my test case should consume data 1. But actually I want to consume data 2, right? I want to consume my data 2. So I have written here data 2 now. Okay. I'll try to write it once again. Again, we will find out what's the problem coming. So R E P O R T E R reporter dot log. And here I will try to write any message. The answer is some. We can do like this. Now, what will happen? The same test case will run for how many times? Three times. First with input called 60. 60 plus 100, 160 is your first answer. 90 plus 100, 190 is your second answer. 109 plus 100, 209 is your third answer. So you can generate the report. You can first run this first check how many test cases got executed three got executed now you can click on emailable report after clicking on emailable report you can see the first parameter is 90 and the answer is 190 because to every number you are adding 100 so when it is 90 the answer is 190 when the number is 60 your answer is 160 when the number is 109 your answer is 209 i hope the concept of data provider is easy and you guys have understood it right but see but see using this kind of data provider concept right 
you will not be able to do the login functionality with multiple inputs. Using this concept, you can only do the testing of the particular test case with single single input, right? Let me sh share my screen. Let me take you to some website. Now, let me take you to the Facebook. I want to show you something. Watch it carefully. So now, now you can see I have the login feature here to be tested, right? And as you can see, the login feature, I can only test it with my username and password. That means I need the combination of my first set of value, second set of value, third set of value, fourth set of value, and the fifth set of value, right? How to test any particular test case with set of values for that we'll be using the data provider concept in which the object class that we are going to use that will be multi-dimensional for that i'm going to upload a separate video in case you have liked this video give a big thumbs up to this video subscribe to my channel software testing by mkt and please share this video with your needy friends thank you so much